Um, I'm going to read some new poems, as we have such a s select audience tonight, who will not um, attack me if they're too bad. This one I wrote today. It's called On the Beach at Leon Solent. Here we'll stop. Stones lodged under soft insteps in school sandals, crunching painfully towards the sea. Spread the red blanket, drop the bag, in the lee of the breakwater. Green slime tells where the tide will rise, bring oily feathers, splinters, mysterious white cuttlefish bones, rocking on shallow, shallow waves. A winging, keening of gulls, wheeling in the shimmer, air aromatic with iodine, salt, jellyfish sprawled broken above last night's tide. Quick, my brown gingham frock, the one I wear in all the faded photos my mother will hoard for 50 years, over my head, and then free in ruched cotton and old black plimsolls, scramble across the shifting mire of pebbles, down to where false promises of sand show among the pungent silt of sea rack, broken shells, and scraps of crabs. Soon, it's lovely in, and tentatively, I spread my body, frog-like, one hand always poised below to save me if I sink. Above me, a fat bumblebee heads out towards Calais. The others are shorter. This one's called Gossip. Abby said to Jenny that Connie said to Ed that Ed had said to Jamie that he'd often heard it said. And Jamie went and found Anne, who said she knew already, but he gave her all the details that he had had from Eddie. And Annie passed it on to Peter in the street, who told the rugger team, a hooker is our Pete, and the fullback passed it on to his most discreet pal, John. And Johnny dished the dirt to Abby, who was hurt to hear that Connie said she was a gossip. <laughs> uh, this is called Shopping Lists and it's three dr drunken shopping lists. The first is reasonably sober. Some neck of lamb, a knuckle of pork, a brass door knocker, a bunch of flowers, a jar of honey, a case of red, a bottle of punch, a basket of eggs, some steak tartare, five chocolate bars. Later, a door ajar, a pair of knockers, some brass neck, a bunch of knuckles, a lot of bottle, a bunch of fives, a punch in a bar, a basket case, egg on my face. And the last one, some red lamb, a pair of knickers, chocolate gloves, a room full of snickers, flowery steak, honeyed words, deviled pork, angels to hurt. Thank you. Um, this one is called The Library at Night. The library was closed. Alone at last read romantic fiction. Raise your hands nice and slow, growled crime. Drama exited, pursued by a bear. Sci-fi retreated to the fifth dimension behind the computers. I suppose you know who I am, sneered classic fiction. I'm all right, you're all right, soothed self-help. Travel and tourism relaxed, got out their holiday snaps, and cooking invited everyone to dinner. But a row had broken out between history and political science about the causes of the Iraq war. And philosophy had gone off into a corner to puzzle over its own existence. Arts was posing as sociology, and poetry was gazing at the nightingale silhouetted against the moon, and considering composing an ode. Thank you.
Janice Window. I got